Hey y'all, welcome back to Functional Beauty with Alicia Larie. I'm Alicia and I'm all about functional beauty. If you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at Alicia Larie or go check out my blog at alicialarie.com. So this pots and pans cabinet is just a mess. My children just tend to throw stuff in there when they do the dishes. So it's actually starting to scratch up the bottom of it and it's driving me nuts. So we're going to tackle this today and organize it, get everything into a spot where the cabinet doesn't continue to get ruined. So here I'm just taking everything out and I ordered a vertical pot organizer, which you'll see in a second. So I actually needed to take the shelf out. So I took that little half shelf out and uh, gave this cabinet a real good scrub to get all of the scratches off. Luckily, all of the scratches came off. There were just a couple little watermarks that were left behind, um, which is not a big deal. So I grabbed this liner to put at the bottom of the cabinet to one, protect the bottom from further damage and to cover up those ugly water spots that are still there. Lessons were learned here. I should have just done this in the beginning, um, but I've never had a cabinet that got this banged up before, so I don't know what the deal is. Also, side note, this cabinet was not quite straight. It was a little bit crooked, so I had to actually cut this liner crooked, and I had a heck of a time trying to get it in there perfectly the way that I wanted it. I'm a perfectionist, so I messed with this thing for a really long time. As you can see, the liner is not quite the right size for my cabinet. It is missing a little chunk there in the back, so I had to cut this piece to put towards the back of the cabinet, which you're not really gonna see it at all because there's gonna be the pot organizer in front of it. So um, I just cut this one and kind of stuck it underneath the other part and uh, it worked really well. It's in, it's not completely perfect, but you know what? Sometimes you have to let those little things go and it's fine, it's, it's good enough. Here is the pot organizer. I went with the vertical one because this is a pretty big cabinet and I figured that it would be the easiest way for us to get the pots in and out of the cabinet. Um, I was really keeping my kids in mind when I got this. Um, since the handles are going to be facing the doors of the cabinet, I thought it would be easy just to grab it and pull it out and take it and put it back in, if that makes sense. So I think this is really going to work out, I hope. So uh, yeah, I really like this organizer. You can customize it however you need to you can see how i'm putting my pots in there first and then the racks so that they are custom to the size of my pans and i really like that i also really like that you can use it more than just vertically you can also either just use the racks on one side or you can actually lay down that middle tower and use it with the racks kind of pointing up so this is just a really good purchase Here I'm just messing around with everything and trying to figure out how far over I can have that organizer so I can figure out if I can fit my lid organizer in. I previously had a different lid organizer here. This is what it looked like. I 
didn't really love that one it was kind of hard to get the lids out but i thought that it would fit on the side here but i didn't take into consideration how far the pans would stick out from the actual organizer so it really doesn't fit and i couldn't figure out how to get it to fit so I just kind of scratched that and I jumped over to Amazon, wonderful Amazon, always to save the day. And I got ship next day, a lid organizer that I could put on either the door or the side of the cabinet. So uh, score. Also, all of the links to everything I've used in this video are in the description box down below. I decided to use command hooks to hang this organizer up on the side of the cabinet. It does come with like anchors and screws and everything, but I did not want to put holes in my cabinet. So I just decided to use these command hooks and I think they actually ended up working really well. I feel like the lid organizer is pretty sturdy um, and I can take it out if I need to. Um, everything in there is pretty close. It does work. Uh, without taking it out but if I would ever need to take it out for whatever reason then I can so um, this is a really good option if you don't want to put holes in your cabinet or maybe if you're renting just use these command strips and you're good to go this took me maybe five minutes to hang so super easy I will just say that you can see I am bending some of the metal where the lids stick into you do kind of have to bend it to fit whatever specific lid you have, but once you do that, they fit really well. And that's it, our cabinet is organized. It's so simple, just the little things you can fix. It didn't take me very much time. I should have done it a long time ago, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And also, if you want to follow me on any social media, it's always at Alicia Lurie. See you guys next time.